So within the world of Cyberpunk 2077 and Night City, vehicles will be a major factor in getting us from A to B. Today we go over all known vehicles, the types and what each category offers. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Now if you guys are new to Cyberpunk and want a place to see in depth guides on what this game offers, you are at the right place. Check out my Cyberpunk playlist a link below for all your needs on what this game is and offers. So within an open world futuristic game, I know I ain't the only one excited about the types of vehicles available for us to drive, ride, fly etc etc. Cyberpunk 2077 has a ton of them. So let's get into the nitty gritty details of these vehicles. So within Night City and the surrounding Badlands there are a ton of vehicles in which we can drive. And well people, I am happy to confirm that we also have our own garage we can store these cars in, which is great and I'm sure you would agree. This is an important feature people who play these kinds of games look for. So the types of vehicles within the game we can actually access and freely drive at the moment confirmed are road cars, which consists of many many different types like standard cars, limos, supercars and much more, which we will check out in a second, but we can also ride motorcycles too. Now in terms of driving there are multiple views in which you can do this in, including a real detailed cockpit so to speak view, so that's epic. Cars and motorcycles are also equipped with an in-game radio station which is another cool feature and something you'd probably expect. So in Cyberpunk 2077 there are 12 car manufacturing brands available in Night City. You can obtain these vehicles through either purchasing them or stealing them and putting them within your garage known as a mega building I believe. Cars will be harder to buy or steal based on their classes. The class is based on the brand that vehicle is manufactured from. Brands range from lower, middle and upper tiers with a separate class being known for motorcycles. Now when it comes to these tiers of vehicles, like I said stealing the upgraded branded vehicles will probably require some kind of certain skill you upgrade with within your skill trees, because expect those upgraded vehicles to have some decent security. Lower tiered brand vehicles are Mayhia Motors and Maki Guy I believe that's pronounced. Middle tiered vehicle brands, we know we have Archer, Chevillon, Mizzetani, Quadra, Fortin and Villafort. And upgraded vehicles, we know we have Herrera and Rayfield. We also have a motorcycle brand called Yeba, I believe that's pronounced. Now right now, from what we know, there are multiple vehicles from each brand, and most of which which we have seen, we will check out in a second. Also, cars cannot be customised, although you can still find and drive, pre-made custom cars in Night City. Now I do believe for the most part we can drive, use and steal almost any car we see within those Night City streets, but like I said earlier depending on the class of that vehicle, actually stealing them may be a difficult part. Now within the countless trailers we have seen flying vehicles. Now it has been confirmed, although we will use such emissions, we won't be able to use these freely, meaning we won't be able to fly around the city with them, store them or even steal them. Planes, helicopters and any other form of flying vehicle, we haven't had any other word on yet. Now as for the vehicles, there are just way way too many to actually mention, because it seems there are like hundreds of them, and like I said, all seem to be drivable, and well you guys know how in depth this game is, so I wouldn't be surprised there. Now cars are equipped with AI allowing you to call them so they will drive towards you, so vehicles can be left anywhere and called on demand. Only one selected vehicle though can be used in this manner at one time. Now like I said, we can't check them all out, but we can take a look at a couple right? This one here is the modified Fortin and was seen being driven by you with Jackie in the gig trailer. The Villafort van was first featured in a Cyberpunk 2077 deep dive video where it was seen in the Grand Imperial Mall controlled by the Animals Gang. How about this one, driven by a form of artificial intelligence capable of picking up multiple passengers. This taxi is able to take them anywhere in the area of Night City. This car is armoured, able to sustain gunfire in the instance of needing to pick up a passenger in a violent area or in the midst of a shooting. But people, I hear you, enough of the taxis and the slow looking hatchbacks, we want to see supercars. Well guys, there are plenty here too, 
This one, the Rayfield Aerondite S9. How great does this look? But there are more guys, how about these, which are middle tier cars by the way, how great do they look? Now like I said there's a massive variety of vehicles within this game, but did someone just mention motorcycles, well here you go. This one here is the Yeba Kazunagi CT3H, and how epic does this look? And while guys watching the gameplay trailers we've seen many many other instances within this game, but there are other motorcycles too. So you guys vehicles are a massive part of this game and the depth to them seems pretty deep too and I cannot wait to start collecting. As far I'd bring you a video, a guide on the basics of vehicles within Night City within Cyberpunk 2077 and guys I hope you enjoyed the video. But on that note we have come to the end. If you guys did enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.